Welcome back folks. Today I'm baking garlic bread. Uh, you'll need two crowns of garlic. In this case it's, it's the ones that you get from the supermarket that are very large. You'll need probably four or five of the smaller ones or the normal size. Add a tablespoonful of olive oil, a teaspoonful of sugar and season it with salt and black pepper. Mix it well and you need to cook this for about an, half an hour. To prepare the dough you'll need 500 grams of strong white bread flour, 10 grams of dried yeast, 10 grams of salt, 30 grams of softened butter and 320 millilitres of water. Add half of the water to start with. Pop your dough hook back on, turn the mixer on low and let it gradually form in the bottom, adding a little water at a time, don't add it all because nine times out of ten you won't need it, you'll see at the end uh, there will be a little bit left of water in the bottom of the container. Like I say, just gradually into the water. You see the dough now start to take flour away from the sides. And that's it for the water. Let it mix for 10 minutes, or in the case of your hand kneading, obviously it's the same for a similar time. After the 10 minutes, remove the dough from the dough hook. As you can see, it's quite sticky, but it doesn't cling to your hands. Um, add it to your prepared bowl, which in this case is some olive oil in the bottom. And you can probably hear my wife saying she can smell the garlic. You'll need to prove the dough for a couple of hours, cover it with a tea towel and pop it into a warm spot. The garlic's been cooking for half an hour now, and as you can see it's well roasted. As you can see the uh, dough has risen. I'm adding it to a floured board. I use a teaspoonful of strong white flour and some polenta flour as well. Combine that together. This allows the dough to dry out quite quickly for when you add the uh, garlic cloves. Open it up a little bit, get a bit more adjusting with the flour and add 
the uh, garlic cloves. These were cooked earlier on, so they've cooled down sufficiently. You need to scrunch them, some of them up a little bit because they are quite big, and you need to combine it into the flour or into the dough. It's a messy job. Add a bit more flour to it as well. Squidge it all in. Push the ones in. Let it keep falling out. A couple of minutes and you'll be done. Once you've amalgamated all the garlic into the dough, you need to cut this in half. In this case, I'm doing a batch cook because I've got two Ramoscas. I've put some polenta flour in the bottom of each of the Ramoscas and I'm going to prove them from here. The dough is doubled in size as you can see. I'm now uh, pasting on some olive oil, extra virgin on top and then sprinkling with some oregano to be cooked. They've been baking for about 30 minutes, uncovered, as you can see it's nice and brown on top. You may need to turn them over for a couple of three minutes as well, just to do the base. There you go, two nice loaves. I should cut these up and freeze them, ready to eat later. <laughs>